there and welcome. I'm Cindy Daychuk of Queen Bee Creations. Thanks for joining me on the channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. If you aren't, give it a little, give it a little push, give it a little go. Um, we come at you twice a week with different crafts, different projects, furniture, refinishing, I mean, whatever I'm up to in the shop. Today, um, I'm gonna do something with books. So I do a lot of furniture refinishing, taking pictures of furniture for the shop and things. And um, it means that I need stuff for staging. And book stacks are a great staging item, whether you were putting things on top of them, whether you were just stacking them on the sides, whatever. Um, and so I tend to have a lot of old books lying around. Now these are, <laughs> these are like, an out grade 13 analysis book, vectors, matrix, and algebra stuff. They are super old. They are not good books. They are not, um, you know, the only thing they got going for them is they're old. This isn't stuff that anybody needs anymore. Nobody wants it anymore, and it's going to go into landfills. So we're going to make it pretty. We're going to make it a decor item. And, um, Give it new life, give it new life. And that's really the fun part for me. So what I did get were just four books. I just wanted four books stack. Um, didn't want it too tall. And they are all just slightly different sizes. So different thicknesses in the spines, different sizes tearing down. So I want it so I could use it like this or like this. But because I want them to possibly be standing, I need them to be flat on the bottom. To start, before I paint, it doesn't make sense to paint each book in its entirety because I'm, I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be leaving them stacked. So I'm going to actually glue them together. So my first step is I want to take. Um, I want to take my glasses. I want to take a fairly heavy duty glue to be able to do this. So I want to glue the backs of the main books, like of the, of the book itself that's going to go on top. Glue the back of that book because it's always going to be the right size. And I just want to kind of Stopped grabbing. There we go. I wanted to get some bigger globs. And this this glue gun was being very delicate about it all. <laughs> and really, I don't do much that's particularly delicate. So I want to make sure they stack, but I also want to make sure that they're a little bit flush here because we are going to be painting. We are going to decorate and we are going to zhuzh them up a little bit, right? So those guys stocked. This is my next one going on. Now, you'll notice I haven't glued down any of the pages. They're still all, you could open them all up and read them if you felt compelled to check out vectors and matrices and grade 13 microeconomics, you know, I don't know. You do you, I'm, I'm doing a craft project. <laughs> all right, so these are all locked into, into place, which is great. That's what I need for the rest of my project. Now, I'm just going to do my first coat of white. Because these are darker books, I'm gonna have to do a couple of coats. I am gonna paint the bottom of them um, because I may want to use them standing up. But 
what I'm looking at doing is just getting some paint on, getting that first coat of white on. And painting spines as I go, right? I'm using beadboard by DIY, so you can see that I'm actually getting really good coverage on this. It's only gonna take, even though I've got dark books and colored books and fabric books, it's really only gonna take me two coats to be able to do this. So I'm gonna get two coats of paint on it, onto this. I'm gonna let it dry in between both coats. Um, and then I'll come back at ya. Now, here's my one little trick before I go, is I am going to paint my inside covers and easy enough to do since I left them so that I could open them up. But it's gonna let me be able to get all those colored ridges and at edges so that um, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot easier as I go. So I'm gonna get this painted up and I'll come back at you for our next step. I have two coats of white. Um, the DIY bead board on these books and that seems to be giving me great coverage now Let me Let me maybe pull this Board over so they don't have schmutz from the table <laughs> The next step is to get it sealed um, One of the things that I was doing when I was painting was I was lifting here painting that outside edge then flipping to the back, painting that outside edge and that upper rim that, because these books extend bigger each time. So I was making sure that when they lay flat that each of those subsequent little sections also are painted in white because I've got them glued together. Now, you could paint them before you glue them and that would be fine too. Um, no right or wrong, whatever whatever works for you. I'm just gonna seal them now. So I have some Big Top by DIY. And I am going to just get one coat of the Big Top on over top of all of my painted surfaces. So I will kind of cover the outsides. I'm gonna let that dry then I'll paint the back and let that dry. And then I'll go and do all those little little inside edges as well, just so that they're all done. Now, when I'm finished, I'm actually going to be kind of tying these books together. So I don't really envision them ever being open. So it's not a, it's kind of not a big, big deal. But I do want to be using kind of a polycrylic to seal just for a little bit more durability on those outside covers and also because it's going to help me with my next step because my next step in the process of zhuzhing up these books is um, to use some some transfers on it and the transfers love to adhere to a slick surface. So they love the big top and uh, I'm gonna be trying to apply them to all of the spines. So I'm just making it easy on myself and going with what they love. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna flip it over, do the back, make sure that I've got all of my little edges sealed and I'll come back at you when we start to beautify them. Now that, our top coat has dried. We are looking at zhuzhing them up. Because, I mean, they're done, but, you know, there's a little blah. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to take one set of the birds transfer from the Brocant pad. This is from IOD, and it is just a compendium of all kinds of little bits and pieces and awesome little detail pieces that you're able to take and use individually on different projects. 
So I particularly like these birds. I just want them to be lined up in such a way that I don't lose any of their little tails. <laughs> and I'm gonna start from the top because it's gonna be easier. Once I start going down, I'm gonna to have to curve around each of those individual spines, which is not impossible, just, uh, you know, a little bit more effort. So I'm going easy to not. Plus, this way I know how much I have to take up over and around and so the positioning is going to work out perfectly. Now, these, any of the transfers, when you purchase any of them, they're gonna come with this little transfer stick, and you are just going to simply remove the backing paper, lay this out exactly where you want it, and then you're gonna use the stick to be able to apply the design. Like I said, these transfers love a slick surface, so going on top of that, um, big top from DIY they're just gonna move move on here in a dream so those are already adhered we're now going to switch over to working on the spine and because those spines curve I want to kind of curve the design around them a little bit so that I get a little bit of that unified pattern as this is sitting on a tabletop somewhere. Oh, a couple of tiny little spots that I missed on a tail. So let me just get those before I miss them entirely. And then we can see hmm, missed. tiny little bit of his head and a tail. There we have it. Now, before I start moving these around, I do just want to kind of burnish them in. So I take that backing paper and I just want to rub over my entire design again just to make sure that it's all sticking as it should, and especially down in the cracks between the spines. But there we have the front of our books and the spines of our books. So if I have it sitting up like this, look how cute that's going to be. That's adorable. Okay. Um, okay, the other thing that I have is I thought I might just put a little butterfly up in the corner. I am gonna put a bit of a tie here. So this is also from the brocante. And it's just kind of in the same color tones. have some words that were cut off of this same transfer somewhere in the book that um, uh, it says uh, on tout genre et tout style so uh, something general and styles I don't know the days of my taking French in high school are long gone so who, who knows I don't know what it says but I'm gonna put them across here anyway because they'll look cute in the spines as well, so there we go. So you can see those words just kind of set it off a little bit. Okay, so the next step is I'm just gonna take my same top coat, my big top, and I'm just gonna give one quick coat to all of my design elements just to help them to be adhered, make sure that they stick. So I'm gonna top coat it, let it dry, and then come back at you for some of the final touches. Stay tuned. We 
are in the final stages of this. And I gotta tell you, I'm loving the look of this so much. These birds are so stinking cute. So this is the brocant transfer. So if you haven't got that, you might wanna pick it up. There's some super cute, super cool things in there. Now, I do wanna tie this down. And you've got options. You could wrap jute around it a bunch of times. You could take an old leather belt and strap it and have the strap dangling down. Or I've decided that I'm gonna take a bit of jute. Now I'm not going to glue this, so I can switch this out if I want to. So, you know, you might wanna take some old coffee dyed um, sheets and uh, wrap those around so you get kind of the shabby chic kind of bow on it. So I reserve the right to switch this out later if I choose. <laughs> but what I thought that I'd do is just in the blank spot in between my butterfly and my birds, so a little bit higher than halfway, I just thought that I'd take some raffia strands. Not the easiest thing to tie with in the world. And I'm gonna tie them into a knot because a bow would be crazy for me. And then that way I can cut them away later if I want. So I'm going to, rather than leaving it sitting up and down, I'm going to tuck this one down also. And what I like to do is just take another little strand. So with them both facing down, I'll take this other little strand and I'm just going to tie them together just kind of quickly. So, just a little knot, and then I can cut that away. Just so they kind of dangle down in the direction that I want. And I'm gonna put a little bit off center there. And I'm gonna just give it a bit of a haircut because I don't need all that. And then what I was thinking is that I have a little bit of eucalyptus. I have a, a eucalyptus, eucalyptus, that's not easy to say if you're talking fast. So eucalyptus pick. And I'm gonna cut it off here because I just want a little. And I'm just looking at, again, I'm not looking at gluing this down. I just wanna have a little bit of greenery sticking in there and maybe well let's see what it looks like I want this one. I want that one because it's got some little maybe just like a little little floral with a little bit of baby's breath on the top as well so you know, while they're just a tabletop book, <laughs> who knows? I can have them sitting, you know, on a bookshelf lined up with other things here and have them sitting like this. So just a kind of super cute, quick little project that you can use in any color, any of the transfers. I mean, IOD has so many transfers that make sense for your decor to be able to fit into your room and your space in a way that makes sense. I hope you've had fun with this. I really enjoyed it. I love these birds and I've been waiting to do this to, to books for so long. <laughs> I've been saving my birds, one set of my birds for this. <laughs> so I'm excited, I love it. <laughs> but take a look at some old books that you've got, how they could be repurposed into a little vignette set that works in your home. I think that you'll enjoy it. If you try it, drop in and pick as always. I'd love to see it. And until next time, take care.